Welcome back to Picket Bill. Let's get back to work on this trailer. In the last episode, we finished off the frame and got all the wheels and tires installed and all that. Now it's time to start the bodywork on the actual truck bed itself. First, before we start that, we've got to do some cleaning. Let's get organized in here. Alright guys, before we start cleaning, I wanted to uh, let you guys know I'm not a paid sponsor, but I did have a company, Super Clean, reach out to me and asked me just to uh, give some of their products a try and if, and if I like the products, give them a little shout out. There we go. And got just some degreaser here. Some all wheel cleaner. We'll give that a shot. And then just got a, like a spray aerosol style degreaser. And just some floor cleanup stuff here. Floor absorbent. And so let's give this a try. Let me show you guys what we're looking at and we'll try these products out and see if they work. And if we're happy with it, hey, great job, Super Clean. Uh, if not, then well, this is real world experience on seeing if these products work. All right. So looking at this floor, you can see it's pretty nasty. We've got all kinds of just grease spillage and leakage and, and just nastiness all over my shop floors. And let me show you guys this. I've actually been using this uh, super clean over here on this side. And I cleaned pretty much half the shop over here just spraying with this stuff. Now I ran out of degreaser but you can see a definitive line of where I've cleaned and where I haven't so there you go super clean way to go all right now back to our regular scheduled program let's get back to work on this trailer I'm not gonna get too much crazier with cleaning in here in the shop because we're just gonna continue to make a mess doing the body work on this truck bed but once we can get all this truck bed body work wrapped up then we can actually get everything out of the shop and then I'll do a complete full clean in here. So without further ado, let's get after it. to do is grind down the rest of this and get it all the way down to bare metal and then we're going to put some body filler on this tailgate. All right guys we've got this grinded down pretty good. Now taking a closer look you can see some pretty good rust holes here and Looks like there's a lot of rust up inside of it. Now I wasn't going to do it. I was just going to do some minor body filler and just go with it. But I'm going to go ahead and flip this tailgate and see if I can take the back panel off and assess the rust on the inside. I think in the long run that's the smartest move. And while we've got it stripped down like this, now's the best time to do it anyway. Alright, we flip this over and it actually doesn't look as bad as I thought. Oh, just a lot of dust fragments and grime that have caked up in there, but let's get it cleaned up and get a closer look. Okay, okay. 
All right, so let's check out the back side of this interior of this tailgate. You can see the original color, that's pretty cool. Uh, actually doesn't look too bad at all. Let's take a closer look underneath this tailgate as well. You guys can see here, it doesn't look too bad. There's a rust line there. We'll, uh, we'll assess that and get this put back together. Let's get to work on this bottom side. We are about to rust converter this whole bottom and then we can get the bottom painted and then get the top side finished out. Alright, here's what we used, Rust Converter Ultra. And we covered this entire underside. We're going to give this a good 24 hours, maybe even 48 hours to dry and let this rust converter do its thing. And then we have a paintable surface underneath. And we're going to undercoat the underside before we flip this thing over and get to the top side. Now that we've got a full layer of body filler, we've created a lot of work for ourselves. but we're going to block sand all this down and work on getting all these cottage cheese dents out. Both sides are done, tailgate, let's get the sanding. Before we start, I'm going to show you what we've got as far as materials to use. We're going to use this DuraBlock kit. Here's what it comes with. All these are meant for block sanding. Um, we'll start with this long one. I use this round one here for a bunch of curved edges and we're gonna get to work. We've got some 80 grit. I don't, we'll see how far that lasts. I've got a KN95 mask just for the dust and of course some safety glasses. All right, let's get after it. Alright guys, this is going to take a while, might even take a couple days on this block sanding. I, uh, I wasn't going to go this far into it with the dents, but I decided to go ahead and put in the effort. Alright, so we're looking at the underside of this tailgate and got this seam, there's rust all up inside of it. So we're going to, I'll show you what we're going to do to treat all that. And let me show you guys something else if y'all can see under here. All right, underside, there's my stand. It is breaking down. And so here's my plan of attack. We're gonna go ahead and paint this bottom side and then get this thing flipped over and up on this table so we can actually paint the top side and all that. 
as we paint the underside. I'm going to use this POR. Got this little six pack of this stuff. I'm going to get all the little edges and seams and places that are hard to get to that, that definitely rust would be an issue. And then we're going to just go ahead and use this Rust-Oleum undercoating for the rest of the bottom. So you can see some of these highs. I've pounded those back and went layers upon layers. And if you feel, it doesn't feel high. So we're at a point to where I'm going to go ahead and call it good. All right, after days of work, we've got majority of the body work done. We've got the bed completely rust converted and ready for bed liner. Uh, we also got the underside completed and on that note uh, we are just waiting on the weather I'm not gonna prime this inside the shop I'm actually gonna do it outside and so for you environmentalist don't watch the next episode <laughs>